All right, YouTube. So there is the Unite the Right rally today, which um, a lot of people are saying here on YouTube that it's a false flag operation. Essentially, it's uh, you know Jason Kessler is working really closely with uh, George Soros to organize this to basically look like at first to be Unite the Right rally, and then of course violence is going to break out. Somebody's probably going to get hurt, like an innocent bystander, most likely. Hopefully not. I'm cr I'm keeping my fingers crossed, you know, for that, but. It makes sense because the midterms are coming up and Soros is kind of a democratic whore in a lot. Well, he's, he's actually the opposite. He's a democratic pimp and he's, you know, basically giving all this money to these politicians. And, that, you know, the thing is, is that Soros also gives money to uh, Republicans, too. I mean, he's, he's a well-known uh, practitioner of the uh, Hegelian method. So that means um, being able to uh, control, control your opposition. And that's kind of what's happening here at the Unite the Right rally. So he's controlling the supposed alt-righters when uh, I think, I don't know, I think that some of these alt-righters that I've met here on YouTube would, might have some mixed feelings about Jason Kessler. Like, maybe he's not the best spokesman. Um, and let me just make something clear. I am not an alt-righter. I am actually very sympathetic to the cause because I understand, or at least I appreciate, the um, First Amendment. And it's pretty bullshit how, uh, how much they've been persecuted here. Uh, in the media, you know, uh, and honestly, it's it's not their fault because I think that a lot of the people that were trying to represent the alt right were bad spokesmen, like Richard Spencer. Uh, I don't know if you can throw Matthew Heimbach in there saying that Hitler was like one of these men that we admire. I mean, that's that's not necessarily something that will resonate with the common American here in in, uh, in the United States. And the media actually wants you to think that, like, the media wants you to think that Richard Spencer and Matthew Heimbach. David Duke, um, Jason Kessler, like they're all um, spokesmen for the for Trump's base, essentially, like because that's what they're trying to. Um, that's how they're trying to label Trump supporters as alt writers. It's it's bullshit and it's totally false because there's a lot of Trump supporters, or at least people that are tolerant of, tolerant of Trump, that have had a lot of problems with the alt right. I think it's uh, Sargon he had a problem with the alt right. Um, Styx is, you know, I guess he was considered to be alt-right because he went on uh, Red Ice TV and um, and talked with Richard Spencer, which, you know, look, he has to do that. Like, he has to at least have a conversation with him. You know, it doesn't matter if they disagree. They have to have a civil conversation. That's the only way, you know, if you're going to really unite the right, that's the way you're going to do it. I mean, you're not always going to agree on things, but at least... Um, in my opinion, like things like that are very important. But anyways, that was, uh, I just, I, I don't think it's a good idea for people to go. I, I definitely think it's going to be like some kind of false flag operation. Um, and, you know, just what happened with uh, Charlottesville last year, like the whole thing was just very weird. I guess there were two buses that showed up uh, during the protest um, and they had supporters from either side. So I guess um, support or supposed supporters from uh, the alt-right and Antifa or whatever. So yeah, but yeah, if you guys are going, I can't stop you. <laughs> I can't stop you from going. But um, yeah, just stay safe. Uh, don't do anything stupid. Uh, watch your back, obviously, because there's going to be people probably wanting to start a fight, and that's you know if if that's something that you're not trying to do. Hey, I would suggest that you uh, step aside, you know, and for your own protection because. What's the point of showing up to one of these rallies and getting in a fight? You're probably, you know, the worst case scenario, you're going to end up on national TV. Like, you might accidentally club someone in the back of the head, and it turns out that they're, like, some transgendered Antifa member, and now, like, you're painted as Hitler. Like, something like that. I don't know. I mean, that's that's kind of a, a stretch there, but uh, you never know. You really never know. You really never know. And um, I'm, honestly, I'm very interested to see what happens today. It will be very interesting. All right, that was a pretty good take. I'm going to end it on that. Uh, it is uh, Sunday morning, going to church. I'm going to get some coffee on the way there, so I will see you later.